Hi everyone, Shannon Kennedy from Vistaview Solutions here. I'm one of our CSM team members and welcome to our Brain Booster this week. This week we'll be discussing posting periods inside of SAP Business One, which normally get created after you've closed your fiscal year. You can find your posting period screen by going to Admin, System Initialization, and Posting Periods. You can also use your quick search here by typing in posting periods and it will open your screen automatically. From your posting period screen, if you drag down your options here to the bottom, you'll see your last fiscal years entered. Most of these should show closing period or locked. That indicates that you've closed your fiscal year for 2021. You do have two new options in version 10, which allow you to cut out a little bit of the manual posting period creation options. They are not mandatory options, so you can put them on and off. And as you can see here in the lower left corner, we have our create new posting periods with due date to next financial year turned off because we're going to be manually creating our posting periods today. You also have the option to automatically update your period status to closing period for existing period after a number of days that the fiscal year was closed. Here we have it set to, to one. That means that it will automatically update our past posting periods once it's one day after the new fiscal year begins. As you can see, they're in closing period. That means that no other financial transactions of any kind can be posted to these accounts for the fiscal year of 2021. Now we need to create our new periods for 2022. In your bottom right corner, you're going to simply click on new period. This is going to open up your new posting period entry. For your posting code, period code and name, you normally utilize the year that you're entering. In our case, it's 2022. For your subperiods, you have the options to put in years, quarters, months, and days. Most of the time, you'll be entering in months, which will automatically create a new period per month, so 12 for the fiscal year. You do have the option, of course, to utilize days, quarters, or year as well. If you have any questions concerning that, your best bet is to contact your CFO or your accounting manager to make sure that you're abiding by the rules for your company specifically. You can also feel free to reach out to your SAP partner like us, VistaView Solutions, at any time. We're going to select months. It's automatically going to default for our 12 months. And that does not necessarily mean that you'll be starting your fiscal year in January like we do here. If you start your fiscal year in June or July and go to the next June or July, you'd simply update your dates and your start of financial fiscal year based upon when you start your financial year, not based upon what we're doing necessarily. However, we here do our financial fiscal year from January to December each year. Your period indicator is something that's pre-set up and normally will go into default. If for any reason you have an issue with your period indicator, reach out to your SAP Business One partner and they can be sure to help you set this up in the background so that you can enter in your new posting periods. Your period status will automatically default to unlocked. That means that each new period can be posted within. You want all of your periods to be unlocked till the end of the year if you close out your year annually. If you're a company that happens to close out all of your periods monthly, then you would want to see this unlocked for now, but then after the end of each month, you'd be doing your closing utility, and then each of those months would become locked so that no further accounting changes can be made to them. Now for our dates, normally what you'd be entering here is the start and the end of each period. Your posting date, however, for your first option here will go to the end of your financial year. This means that anything that you post can possibly go all the way out to the end of your fiscal year in terms of the posting date. For your due date and your document date, normally you would have these go from the first of the month to the end of the month, depending upon, of course, how many days are in each month. So for our due date and our document dates for January, if you want them to go throughout the entire year, just in case you make it an order today, that's not actually going to be due for three months. You can leave these to 1231 and they will be allowing this system and the users to have posting dates, 
and document dates throughout the whole year, not just within one month. However, if you want your due date and your document date to always be within the same month, you'd simply enter in your start date of 1-1 and your end date of 1-31. And then your posting periods will be created with end dates within the month. For us, we'd like any of our due dates and our document dates to go throughout the end of the year, even though we might be entering them in, in January. So we're going to leave these at 1231-22, which is the end of our fiscal year. Next, we're going to enter the first day of our fiscal year. And for us, like I mentioned earlier, it's January 1st. So it's automatically defaulting that for us. Our fiscal year, of course, is 2022. Now that you've entered in all of your information, we're simply going to click Add, and it's going to create our 12 periods for us automatically in the system. As you see here, we have our 12 periods, and they're all in unlocked status. Each of these periods can now be posted to, and at the end of 2022, these periods, you will be performing the closing annual fiscal year, just like we did in our last Brain Booster. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, or if any of the information in, in your posting period seems incorrect once you've added them, please feel free to reach out to your SAP business partner or their support team for help. We'll do our very best to help in all of our future Brain Boosters with more useful information, and we hope that you've enjoyed this week's Brain Booster. Thanks again. Have a great day.